everyone. Today we are looking at lead code number 83. <clears throat> Remove duplicates from a sorted list. Okay, so this question here is asking if we have a list of 112, we want to remove any duplicates. We want to remove this one here and return 12. Here we have 11233. We want to go ahead and remove this one over here and either one of these threes, so we return 123. Okay, so how do we go, go about doing this? Let's jump over here in the conceptual. Here we have duplicates, we have a list of one, one, and two, and we want to return a list of one and two. Okay, so one way to think about this is we could create a helper function that just says remove node. We can find out what nodes are duplicates, so we could create an array, or we could create a hash table and we can have a key for each one of the numbers and the frequency that key is in the in the list so one is appearing twice two is appearing once okay and now we know that if any of the values here are more than one then we go ahead and remove those keys okay so that's that's one way we could approach this the only issue with doing it that way is that it it is a bit complicated and also what about time and space complexity well we're gonna have to traverse through this list numerous times it'll still be linear time but we're gonna have to go through that list many times more than once because we're gonna have to go through it once to create the hash and then we're gonna have to go through it again to go ahead and remove the the duplicates the, so first we're gonna have to find the duplicates and then we'll have to go over it again to remove the duplicates the second issue is is space we're gonna have to create linear space because we're gonna have to create a hash data structure and essentially keep a frequency of all the values and how many times they're appearing now something important to remember is that this list that they're giving us is sorted okay it's a sorted list so even in that we can we can assume that the numbers, we don't have to go and find the duplicates in the whole list. We don't have to uh, traverse the whole list. We can see that whatever whatever is going to be next, whatever value is, if it's the next value and it's the same as the previous, then we can you know we can assume that it's a duplicate. The only issue with that is is let's say let's say we have a list where we have one, 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 and two. Well, we can say that this next value is the same, so we remove that. Then we're back here, and we can say this next value is the same. We remove that, and then we can uh, get to the next value. So that's another way we could do this. Another way we could do this is, let's say we have 112. We can just go here, and this is our previous and this is our current and we can just say we just keep on incrementing this current until they have different values until this previous has a different value than current and then we just go ahead and set the previous dot next to that new current okay so that's another way we could do this now if we did it that way what would be our uh, space complexity where well, our space complexity would be constant because we don't have to create any new data structure and we only have to traverse through the list once okay and so that's actually how we want to approach this so let's say let's go and take that second example which I believe was one one two three three okay so here we have a list one one two three three okay and let's say we created a previous node and we just set it to some some value we'll just say minus infinity and we'll say this is previous and this is a node we're gonna create and we're gonna set it to be before the head so that node uh, that dummy node dot next is going to be the head of our input list okay our current node will be the head of the list so we'll start there and we're going to traverse through this whole list. 
But what we want to check is if the previous value, the node at previous dot val, is equal to the current dot val, what do we want to do? We want to move this current all the way out until they don't equal. So let's say we get to this next one here. Okay, and the previous val, which is one, is equaling the current val. Well, then we want to just go ahead and create a while loop and increment that current until it is not equaling the previous val. And then what do we want to do? So let's go ahead and uh, write that um, statement here. We could say while our uh, current, that we do have a current node, and current.val is equal to previous.val what do we want to do? We just want to uh, increment current. Current will equal current dot next. Okay. Now, once current is outside of the range, once current is here, we'll break out of this while loop, and we just want to set our previous dot next to current. Okay. Else, what do we want to do? we want to increment previous and current. So let's say we get here now to our next iteration and previous and current does not equal each other then we just want to go ahead and increment this. Okay, we'll increment this here and then we will go ahead and remove out that current. Okay, so we can just say p dot next or p equals p dot next P equals C and C equals C dot next. Okay. And if we do it this way, then what is our time and space complexity? Well, our time, how many times are we traversing this list relative to the size of the input? Just once. So our time complexity here will be O of N and then our space complexity, well, what, what, um, what data are we creating relative to the size of the input? Well, we have our previous pointer, we have our current pointer, okay? And no matter how big the input size is, it's a constant amount of space that we're creating relative to the input size. So our space complexity here will be constant. Okay, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this code here. So first we want to go ahead and create that, that dummy node. And we'll set this to minus infinity. Set it to minus one, but we might have minus one in the list and that might cause a bug. So we'll just set it to minus infinity. And then we want to go ahead and make sure the dummy is connected to our input. So we can say dummy.next. And I believe, uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and set this here as a second in, um, the second parameter right over here. OK. OK. And so now, what do we want to do? We want to create um, our current node, set it to head we want to create our previous and set it to dummy okay and now we want to say while current is true if current dot val equals previous dot val what do we want to do we want to say while current and current dot val and the reason we want to do current and current dot val is that if current is null if we do reach a point where current is null and we try to call dot val on it, it will throw an error. So that's why we want to say if, that we want to make sure there is something in current and current dot val equals prev dot val. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to increment current. Now, once we're out of that, what do we want to do? We want to update our previous dot next. So previous dot next is going to equal current. Okay, so now because what we're doing here is that 
once we get out of this, we want to make sure that once our current is here, it's out of the, the same as previous stop val. We want to break this here, and we want to set this over here. Okay. And else, what do we want? We just want to increment current and previous. So we can say previous dot next is going to equal current, and current is going to equal current dot next. Okay. And then we do have a reference to that dummy node, so we just want to return dummy dot next. Okay, let's see what happened here. Previous dot next equals current. Current equals current dot next. Two. Next equals current and previous equals current, not previous dot next. And there we go. Okay. So that is leak code number 83, remove duplicates from a sorted list. I think the important pattern to remember here is using this dummy node. It's a it's a anytime you're dealing with addition or removal of nodes from a list from a linked list you always want to set up a dummy node before the head and it just makes deleting adding nodes much much easier because you you really um, stamp out a lot of edge cases what if you know what if all the nodes that you have to remove is from the beginning uh, it's hard to keep track of those pointers but using this dummy node strategy uh, really makes that much much easier and then uh, the other thing is is just making sure that there's small bugs like this where you want to make sure the current does have uh, that there is a node there because uh, if not when you try to call dot val on it it will throw an error and then anytime with linked lists you just want to make sure you, you you really map out where exactly the pointers are changing um, and it, it'll just make life a lot easier uh, okay so that's leak code number 83 remove duplicates from a sorted list hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one